as I do this, I want you to, to know that the greatest part of your experience here should be you're here to get educated, you're here to get to find out about yourself, you're here to meet great people and great friends and create relationships. You're not here trying to be by yourself because if you're here trying to be by yourself, it's very lonely. So what you're trying to do is create relationships and enjoy and get involved, get involved in the campus, get involved in the community and have a ball. What you do for us, you help us win games. You come to the games, you guys cheer. It's great to see you guys on TV. You're right beside us. Um, and, and we really appreciate it. Let me introduce the players. Um, I'll just go uh, Antonio Anderson. You guys know Stan. <laughs> Sean Taggart. Sean gained 25 pounds. Stand up again, Sean. So, now, none of it, none of it was in his legs, but the rest of it. Donnell Mack, who, you guys knew he left us, but came back. For all you young ladies, Pierre Niles lost 50 pounds. He's got 20 more to go before he plays for us. <laughs> Chance McGrady. Robert Dozier. Willie Kemp. And Jeff Robb. No Jeff Robb. All right, and now the new guys. Tyreek Evans in the back. Angel Garcia, Robert Sally, Wesley Witherspoon, CJ Henry, Matt Simpkins. And again, um, uh, Antonio, why don't you come up and say something here? Let Antonio speak here for a second. Yes, yeah, Tom. Um, and, and let me say this before I let him talk. He's going to graduate on time in four years. So Robert Dozier is going to graduate on time in four years. Both of them should be in that other league. If our team takes care of business and they worry about our team, they're going to have that opportunity. Sean Taggart, who transferred, picked the wrong school at first. <laughs> and transferred is going to graduate with a year of eligibility left. And Chance McGrady is going to graduate in four years. So all four of them will graduate in four years. Here's Antonio. First off, uh, we want to thank all y'all for showing up today. Uh, it's a great thing for all you guys to come out and meet us and us to get to know you guys a little bit, take pictures with you guys and interact with you a little bit. Uh, can't wait for the season to start. Hope to see you guys at every game. Yeah. Going crazy. Yeah. Like yeah. 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 I want some of the seniors to come up and say something as well. Uh, Chance and Rob. I want them to show their appreciation as well. Come on, Chance. Chance for Grady. How y'all doing? If I can tell you, I want to thank you all for coming out today. Just make you and me know y'all coming to the game and everything. And keep cheering for me when I get my two minutes. <laughs> You know, the one thing I want to tell you, last year what happened for us, these guys were friends first and then they were teammates second. They really were. And if you watched us play, you saw it. We've got to do that with this team. We have new additions. They've got to meld and mend and come together with everybody. But at the end of the day, if they're not friends first, we won't be as good. If they don't look after each other like they did a year ago, we won't be as good. But here's the greatest thing. 
If this team does what last te year's team does, every one of them, we had the number one pick, two other guys, you had all the accolades for the guy, and they, it'll happen again if they come together. But it, you see them, they're just like you, they're students here. And I know they're under the microscope, but they're still students here. And they do do some dumb things. I deal with it as soon as I find out the dumb things. <laughs> Let me say this, and I'm going to tell all of you because you're young and, you know, I, I have to deal with my own children. Nothing good happens in a club after midnight. <laughs> I'm just telling you. These guys know. Some of them are older. So I don't tell them that if they do something dumb, oh, yeah, there will be a curfew. They won't be out. They'll be in their rooms. They get checked on like every night, but I let them go do their thing, I let, I don't, I'm not telling, they're grown men, but not all of them, some of them, some of them are of age and they're not very grown, but they're not to be in clubs after midnight, leave, that's when people get stabbed, shot, fights, just leave, so if you're out, don't be out in a place like that after midnight. Do yourself a favor. Don't embarrass yourself or your family. In their case, our family is all these guys. If one of them does something, it affects everybody up on this stage. And that's why if a guy is not a good guy and I find out about it, he won't be here long. Be very short term. Because we do, we're all connected up on this stage. But you know who else we're connected with? You. We're all connected with you. And if we do dumb stuff here, it reflects on everybody. So, again, enjoy yourself. There's still food there. There's sodas and um, the water's right there on ice if you want it. You can run around a little bit. You got to 1.30. I got a plane, so I'm you got to leave at 1.30. You guys want to mess around in the pool like last year? Have at it. Have some fun. No one's getting hurt. If you can't swim, don't even go back that way. <laughs> you can't swim. You stay right here. Okay? But this is, this is for all of us here and our team and our staff, we appreciate you all. And we want you to have fun this year. Thank you. Yeah.